All right, so what we have here today is a discussion of some of the point cloud visualization tools that we're working on to be able to navigate through uh, 3D data sets that we're collecting with our mobile laser scan data. Now, what we see here is the results of a recent scan we did of a tailings facility, which is basically a big earthen structure uh, using our mobile uh, scanner, which collects about 1.1 million points per second. This scan here is millions and millions of points capturing a lot of detail uh, in this uh, tailings drying pond that's about 200 meters by 100 meters wide and takes about five minutes to capture all the data with their mobile scanner. This is just a JPEG of a, a view from the laser scan processing software. Normally the scan data um, is put into a CAD package to create a, a tin surface model. And so here we can see, for example, in AutoCAD, that we've taken that tin, or the point cloud data, decimated it into a regular grid, and then created a tin model. And this is generally the format that people will start using uh, to do uh, to do volumetric work in a CAD package. Of course, we can use AutoCAD to then view things from different perspectives, um, zoom in and out. For example, we can, of course, orbit through this scene and do things like that. Do, 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 do. Now, the while CAD is obviously a very powerful uh, tool for engineers and CAD experts to use, it's not really so useful for the average person to be able to walk through their point cloud because, of course, not only do they not typically have AutoCAD, but uh, as well, uh, it's really kind of a pain in the rear to navigate through these uh, scenes. You often end up upside down and disoriented and so on and so forth, which is why we decided instead that we would work on using a game engine to actually render the terrain captured by our laser scanners. And this is an example here. If we take a look, we see that this is a normal uh, Google Earthish interface. And what this allows us to do is we are storing our point cloud data as a terrain within this game engine, which then will take us onto that quote unquote level and build it. We can see over in this corner an overview map of where we are in our little vehicle or person. Uh, we have a compass. We have accurate shading for time of day. And as you can see, we can see around our pond. We can also simply move through the model using normal keyboard commands, which most everyone who's ever played a video game is familiar with. I'm just simply driving this as if it's a tank. I can look up, I can look down. And also intriguingly, if we take a look, I can't punch through the surface, which is unlike in most point cloud modeling tools, which is sometimes a benefit, but often very aggravating when suddenly you find yourself going through walls. Here, as we approach this slope, you'll see instead I go up the slope, which is a more intuitive way to be. Of course, I can also view this as wireframe if I wish. This is the non-rendered scene. And also there's a number of tools I can, for example, generate contours, or rather cut lines, through the 3D surface so I can get a good idea of what's actually happening there. Uh, work that we're going to undertake in the near future here is, to, of course, to improve the speed and accuracy of this game engine. Uh, to add some interaction so that we can, for example, right now I can pick points. You can see in the lower right there, I can see the cursor and the elevation at the cursor. However, a lot more interaction will be possible, and we will keep you updated. Thanks.